Picture this, a land of fertile soil, abundant rivers, and a prosperous agricultural economy. This was the Mississippi Delta in its prime. Nestled between the mighty Mississippi and Yazoo rivers, this region was once the epitome of agricultural prosperity. Its fertile alluvial soil was perfect for growing cotton, and in the 19th century, the Delta was the cotton capital of the world. But the Delta wasn't just about cotton. With its vast network of rivers and tributaries, it was a hub for trade and commerce. The river system served as the lifeline of the region, connecting it to the rest of the country and to the world. And then there's the culture. The Mississippi Delta is more than just a geographical region. It's a cultural identity, a melting pot of African, Native American, and European influences, the Delta has given the world some of its greatest music, literature, and cuisine. From the soulful strains of the blues to the rich flavors of the region's cuisine, the cultural contributions of the Delta are immeasurable. But the story of the Mississippi Delta is not a simple tale of prosperity and cultural richness. No, the history of this region is as complex as the river system that defines it. For even as the Delta blossomed, seeds of inequality and economic decline were being sown. The same soil that brought prosperity also bore the scars of slavery and racial injustice. The same rivers that facilitated trade also brought with them devastating floods. And the same culture that gave the world so much also harbored deep-seated social and economic disparities. So how did this region, with all its natural wealth and cultural richness, become one of the poorest in the United States? And more importantly, what can be done to reverse the tide of poverty and economic decline? But somewhere along the line, things took a turn for the worse. So what happened? Why did this flourishing region suddenly find itself on a downward spiral? The story of the Mississippi Delta's decline is a complex one, woven with threads of economic, environmental, and social challenges. Let's unravel it bit by bit. Firstly, changes in agricultural practices played a significant role. The Delta, once a fertile ground for cotton, saw a decline in demand for its white gold. With the advent of synthetic fibers in the mid-20th century, cotton lost its monopoly in the textile industry. This hit the Delta hard, with many small farmers unable to adapt to the changing market dynamics. Secondly, economic policies, or more accurately, the lack thereof, exacerbated the Delta's woes. As the cotton industry declined, there was little effort to diversify the region's economy. The Delta was left in a vulnerable state, heavily reliant on an industry that was no longer profitable. Lack of investment in education and infrastructure further stifled economic growth, creating a vicious cycle of poverty. Then, Mother Nature threw her punch. The Delta is no stranger to natural disasters. Floods in particular have wreaked havoc on the region's agriculture and infrastructure over the years. The Great Mississippi Flood of 1927, for instance, caused massive displacement and economic loss. And while the region has strived to recover from each blow, the cumulative impact of these disasters has undeniably left a mark on the Delta's economy. Finally, let's not forget the role of globalization. As industries moved to countries with cheaper labor, job opportunities in the Delta dwindled, and with little in the way of alternative employment, many residents found themselves trapped in a cycle of poverty. And as if these weren't enough, the region had another major issue to grapple with, racial inequality. But that's a story for the next chapter. For now, let's pause and reflect on the multitude of factors that have contributed to the Mississippi Delta's economic decline. It's a sobering tale, but one that's crucial to understanding the region's present state and future prospects. Racial inequality didn't just appear out of nowhere. It's deeply rooted in the history of the Mississippi Delta. From the days of slavery to the era of Jim Crow laws, the Delta has been a battleground for racial justice. These historical events have left a lasting impact on the economic landscape of the region. Let's delve into the past. When the Emancipation Proclamation was signed in 1863, it promised freedom for slaves. But what it didn't promise was economic equality. African Americans, who made up a significant portion of the Delta's population were left with minimal resources and opportunities to thrive. This economic disparity was the seed planted for the poverty we see today. Then came the Jim Crow laws, a series of state and local statutes that legalized racial segregation. These laws further cemented the economic divide 
denying African Americans access to quality education, fair employment, and wealth accumulation opportunities. African American farmers were particularly affected. Despite being the backbone of the Delta's agricultural economy, they were systematically denied access to resources, loans, and fair market prices for their produce. Fast forward to the late 20th century, the Delta's economy began to shift from agriculture to manufacturing. However, racial discrimination persisted. African Americans were often relegated to low-wage jobs, while higher-paying positions were reserved for white workers. In essence, the economic decline of the Mississippi Delta cannot be discussed without considering the role of racial inequality. But as we'll explore in the next section, there are efforts underway to change this narrative and bring about economic revitalization. Today, the Mississippi Delta is a far cry from its prosperous past. The numbers tell a grim story. The region, once known for its fertile lands and bustling cotton industry, now grapples with some of the highest poverty rates in the United States. Consider this. Nearly one in three people in the Mississippi Delta live below the poverty line. That's approximately 33% of the population. Compare that to the national average, which hovers around 12%. The gap is staggering, isn't it? The economic hardship is not just a broad, faceless statistic. It's a daily reality for many. The median household income in the Delta falls around $20,000, nearly half of the national average. That's half the resources for food, healthcare, education, and other basic needs. What's more, unemployment rates in the Mississippi Delta consistently outstrip the national average, while the national unemployment rate fluctuates around 4%. In the Delta, it's often double that figure. That's a lot of people without a steady income. And it's not just about money. The education system in the Delta has been hit hard too. The high school dropout rate is nearly 40%, almost double the national average. This lack of education further perpetuates the cycle of poverty, limiting opportunities for better paying jobs. Moreover, the Delta's infant mortality rate is one of the highest in the nation, a heartbreaking statistic that speaks volumes about the quality of healthcare and living conditions in the region. These stark statistics paint a picture of a region in distress. They reveal the harsh reality of life in the Mississippi Delta, a place where the struggle for economic survival is a daily grind. But despite these challenges, there's still hope for the Mississippi Delta. It's not all doom and gloom, folks. There are people and organizations working tirelessly to turn things around. Despite the challenges, the story of the Mississippi Delta is not one of defeat, but of resilience and determination. There are inspiring stories of individuals, communities, and organizations who are making a difference. Take, for instance, the Delta Fresh Foods Initiative. This grassroots organization is working to transform the region's food system, creating jobs and improving health along the way. By connecting local farmers to markets, they're not only boosting the region's economy, but also ensuring fresher, healthier food for local communities. A win-win situation, wouldn't you say? Then there's Teach for America, Mississippi. Recognizing that education is a powerful tool in the fight against poverty, this organization organization is working to ensure that every child in the Delta has access to an excellent education. They're recruiting and training teachers to work in the region's most underserved schools, helping to break the cycle of poverty one classroom at a time. And let's not forget the Delta Regional Authority. This federal-state partnership is dedicated to improving the quality of life for the Delta's residents. They're investing in infrastructure, job creation, and community development projects, fostering economic growth and resilience. It's not just about organizations, though. There are countless individuals making a difference every day. From the teacher who goes the extra mile to ensure her students succeed, to the farmer who starts a community garden to combat food insecurity, to the entrepreneur who opens a business and creates jobs in their hometown. These are the unsung heroes of the Mississippi Delta. Yes, the challenges are great, but so too is the spirit of the people in the Mississippi Delta. They are fighters. They are survivors, and they are working every day to build a better future for themselves and their communities. The road to recovery may be long, but with concerted effort and unwavering commitment, the Mississippi Delta can reclaim its prosperity. And with every step forward, with every success story, we're reminded of the strength and resilience inherent in the human spirit.